The ongoing border tensions between India and China highlight the need for specialized military equipment capable of operating in high-altitude warfare. Both countries have invested in developing light tanks to address the unique challenges posed by the Himalayan terrain. The deployment of light tanks like the Zora War and Type 15 demonstrates the strategic importance of having highly mobile and capable armored units that can effectively operate in these regions. And today, we will compare these two tanks. India's Zora War and China's Type 15 light tank. Light tanks like the Zora War and Type 15 offer several advantages over heavier main battle tanks in specific terrains. They are lighter and more agile, allowing for better maneuverability in difficult and narrow terrains like mountains and forests. The Zora War light tank, named after the legendary general Zora War Singh, is developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO and Larsen and Tubro, is specifically designed for high-altitude warfare. Weighing around 25 tons, the Zora War measures approximately 7 meters in length, 3.2 meters in width, and 2.5 meters in height. In contrast, the Chinese Type 15 light tank, introduced in 2016, weighs approximately 33 tons, increasing to 36 tons with additional armor. It is slightly larger, with a length of about 9.2 meters, a width of 3.3 meters, and a height of 2.5 meters. The smaller size and lighter weight of the Zora War may offer better maneuverability in certain high-altitude terrains. The Zora War is powered by a 750-horsepower Cummins engine, providing a power-to-weight ratio of 30 HP per ton, which meets the Indian Army's high-altitude performance requirements. It has a top speed of around 70 km per hour and an operational range of approximately 400 km. On the other hand, the Type 15 is equipped with a 1000 HP engine, delivering a similar power-to-weight ratio. It achieves a top speed of about 65 km per hour and has an operational range of up to 450 km. Both tanks are designed for rapid deployment and can be transported by air or land, with the Type 15 using Chinese Y-20 transport aircraft and the Zora War being compatible with the C-17 Globemaster III. The Zora War light tank is armed with a 105M gun capable of firing high-explosive anti-tank and armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds. This gun offers good range, accuracy, and penetration power. Secondary weapons include a coaxial machine gun and an anti-aircraft machine gun mounted on the turret. Similarly, the Type 15 also features a 105M rifled gun, capable of firing heat, APFSDS, and high-explosive rounds. The sophisticated fire control system in the Type 15, including thermal imaging and laser range finding, ensures high accuracy and effective long-range targeting. Both tanks offer robust firepower, but the advanced fire control system of the Type 15 provides a slight edge in targeting efficiency. In terms of protection, the Zora War is equipped with modular composite armor that can be adjusted based on mission requirements. It provides good protection against small arms fire and shell splinters, and can be fitted with explosive reactive armor and laser warning systems for enhanced defense. The Type 15 features modular armor that can be upgraded with additional layers, designed to withstand hits from autocannons and anti-tank guided missiles. It also includes advanced active protection systems like ERA and laser warning systems, significantly enhancing its battlefield survivability. Both tanks offer strong protection features, with the Type 15's advanced APS offering a slight advantage in defensive capabilities. Operationally, the Zora War and Type 15 light tanks are most effective in combat situations such as mountain defense and infantry support. Their mobility and firepower make them ideal for defending strategic passes and ridges, and providing support to infantry units in difficult terrains. The advanced protection systems of both tanks ensure they can withstand enemy fire while engaging targets, making them valuable assets in both defensive and offensive operations in high-altitude environments. The development of the Zora War began in 2020 in response to the Chinese deployment of the Type 15 during the Ladakh standoff. Key design considerations included lightweight construction, high-altitude operational capability, and adaptability to India's varied terrain. The prototype was unveiled in 2024, with production models expected by 2027. Currently, 59 Zora War tanks are on order, with plans to produce up to 350 units. 
Conversely, the Type 15's development started in the early 2010s, focusing on creating a highly mobile, lightweight tank for mountainous regions. Officially introduced in 2016, several units have been deployed in high-altitude areas, with an estimated several hundred units in service and ongoing production. In summary, the Zora War aims to provide the Indian Army with a lightweight, agile, and powerful tank capable of operating in mountainous terrain, while the Type 15 has already established its effectiveness in similar environments. This comparison highlights the ongoing efforts by both nations to enhance their military capabilities in the high-altitude battlegrounds. Both tanks have advanced suspension systems and low ground pressure, making them well-suited for the steep slopes and narrow passes of the Himalayas. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.